everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Teresa and today I wanted to share all the perfumes that I wore last week but as always before I jump into this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so let's go ahead and jump right in so um I didn't film a video last week uh, because I just wasn't really feeling it and I feel like everyone can see it when somebody's just not in the mood and I don't want to put anything like that out there so I was really really excited to film a video today um, so I'm gonna show everything that I wore last week and I feel like this is gonna be a very not so good video I don't know I was a little bit disappointed in some of these perfumes um, so yes I don't know if this video goes up first or the one I just filmed so I will be going on a vacation i will be visiting my home country i'm from austria so i will be gone for the next three weeks i will be back filming in july so i don't know which one goes up first so yeah you will find one way or another yeah let's go ahead and jump in so they're in like no particular order but i was wearing perfume pretty much every day and sometimes i just wore more than one so uh let's go ahead and talk about uh gucci guilty um i love this bottle right here so so pretty and um so i was wearing this in okay a little backstory here so i purchased this not too long ago around three weeks ago i think and um i smelled it around two years ago at no it was a year ago at ulta and i immediately fell in love with it i love the original gucci guilty i've had it i've used pretty much a whole bottle um and it was just this perfect powdery version of it so i was like oh my god i need to have it and you know i am a perfume collector so i kind of just for forgot about it and i was like you know I'll, I'll get it eventually i don't need to have it right now but i will get it eventually so i found out it was a limited edition and um i panicked because i couldn't find it online and every time i saw it, it was like over 20 dollars and i need to have it so actually then fragrance net they ended up having it so i got it from there and this little puppy is expensive i paid like almost 80 dollars i think for 1.6 fluid ounces and i don't like it anymore i don't know why i feel like i'm over the gucci guilty face it was like i loved it 10 years ago and it's too perfumey in in my opinion it's, it's just too perfumey i think there's violet in there and I just it's not like it's not like I smell it I'm like well I can't like I can't stand it or anything like that but like if you know what I mean it's just too perfumey it's like not really like a character to the perfume in a way and oh I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna try to sell this on Mercari um I've worn it one time I wore it last week um this is how the bottle looks like I mean this is normal I didn't it's not filled up to the top so um like i said i paid like around 80 dollars for this so I've, I've seen a few in macari people still try to sell it for quite a lot of money because it was a limited edition um so yeah i think I'm, once i'm coming back from my vacation i think i'm gonna sell this one um i love the bottle but you know the bottle is not worth it like enough for me to hold on to it if you know it's somebody else can wear it and enjoy it because it would be such a waste so yeah that one is a uh, gucci guilty and then i wore um amber rouge from Aurentica. i wore this a couple of days ago and you know yes it it's still like nothing has changed it's still very much a dupe of baccarat rouge 540 this is the closest it can get in my opinion when it comes to like dupes out there now i smell like a rihanna grande cloud and now it's like completely different like, I never thought I would say that, but it's within that, like, scent proof, like, within that family, but still very different. You know, very long-lasting, very great projecting, like, I smell it the next day still on myself, even though I showered. Um, the bottle is extremely heavy, but there's something to it, something dusty to it that does not like work well with my nose like my nose is not agreeing with it i like the scent profile it's pretty and like i said i like it but there's something in my nose when i wear it it makes me uncomfortable like you know when when something is not like agreeing with 
your body in a way it's like it's like all you think all day like for example uh, Valentina Valentino born in Roma Donna born in Roma that one is so pretty but I think the pink pepper in there is just burning my nose and it almost does the same thing where it's just like dusty powdery in a way and I don't know I'm I really like it and it's it's such a great performing perfume and oh, it's so powdery in my opinion and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping that one very, very much longer either so I don't know maybe if I'm coming back maybe there will be another declutter video who knows and uh, I still have the box I still have the box for that one this one actually is a tester so but I mean it really it doesn't even say it here it just came in a white plain box and there's nothing wrong with it it's beautiful um it's what is it uh 80 ml and then i was wearing i was let's let's talk about something more positive i was wearing um gucci uh, gucci flora or the parfum this one is so so beautiful and you know what when i was wearing it i was like oh my god this is so good oh my god i love this perfume it's so good I don't I don't really know the notes in it I think I think it has I think I think <laughs> I think it has peach in it and really pretty oh my god my husband also told me I smell good so pretty oh my god you know what? I think I'm gonna take this to Austria with me I just filmed my video I filmed the video of what perfume is gonna take to Austria with me and you know what I think this one is coming with me we'll see but so pretty and this one will last you as well like, I don't know if I said it, but this is the Auto Parfum. So pretty. I love this perfume. I, know, I think at one point I tried to declutter it. Because it didn't smell like what I remembered it uh, smelling in store. But I love this perfume now. I love, love, love it. Uh, Gucci, Flora, Eau de Parfum. Such a classic too. So pretty. So, so pretty. Um, then I was wearing, yesterday I was wearing um, Chanel Chance. Very, very... <laughs> Uh, extremely good for this time of the year hot weather nothing cloying you don't I, don't I didn't use too much um i think i only sprayed only which is normal four sprays for a lot of people um it's only sprayed four sprays so i only smelled it on myself for around two hours um because you know i try not to over spray as much anymore because my nose gets really sensitive i think i have allergies um so yeah and my hair keeps stuck in my glass <laughs> so yeah I was wearing this one um, I love it such a classic and I think I think it's unisex I think it's unisex in my opinion then I was wearing also this one from Mongola this one is the order toilet unfortunately it is discontinued but you can still find it pretty discounted I think I got this one for under $30 on fragrance net a couple of years ago this one is a tester bottle and I was wearing this one. This is the orange toilet, as I mentioned. But you know what? It was so hot. I think it was like 96 degrees that this was almost a little bit too cloying, in my opinion. Maybe because of that, there's still vanilla in there. I don't know. But I think it was a little bit too cloying. But still, very, very beautiful perfume. And for the order toilet, I think the longevity is decent. Not that great, but not too bad. So the last I'm just knocking everything over that I wore is uh, Bruno Banani as my, many of you know that watch my channel that um, I love this perfume uh, it is an order to a LED. it's a German brand you can find it on Amazon I've seen it on fragrance net very affordable under $30 and it's a lot of people compare it to uh, Gucci Rush I think it's called the one in the red plastic uh, box <laughs> and it is a little bit similar to that one in my opinion it also smells a little bit like um from hermes eau de Marveille, i think it's called like the orange like circle and oh my god i have to apologize because i always say like 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 and i feel like i've done this again and every time i up, like i edit my video i'm like oh my god stop stop saying like so much like i cannot stand it i hope i didn't do that again in this video i probably have but i really hope i didn't and you know what let's talk about like sometimes people ask me like what my jewelries are and stuff like that so 
Let's talk about this real quickly. So I got these earrings from Target. Uh, they should still have them. I got them a couple of days ago. I think they're super pretty. And I have a huge, huge pimple right here. Couldn't even cover it. Um, So they were like $7.99, I think. And this necklace right here. I'm gonna see if I can link it down below. It's called, it's like, it just says love on it. And I've had this for over two years and the quality is great. It's super affordable. I think it's like, I think back then I paid $30 for it, but I've checked again a couple of weeks ago. It was $8 because somebody asked for it. Super, super pretty. It has not changed or anything like that. It just looks really, really good. And uh, my watch is from Michael Kors. And this top right here is, I just got this from Amazon. It's like a little crop top though. Um, I have it in pink as well. So it's like a crop top. Where my sweatpants, by the way. Uh, it's crop top right here. I just love these kind of crop tops. Sometimes I wish they could be a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, very affordable. I think it was like $16 or something like that. So yes, that was um, what I wore last week. And I hope you are having a great day. Leave me uh, your scent of the day uh, in the comments. Because I'm very curious. And I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.